I'm gonna try to put the same um, whitewash on this planter box for our hibiscus that we're gonna try to start growing some stuff. But um, the wife says she need a different color from the red. <laughs> so, and then she's probably gonna like distress it, you know, like kind of rub out some of the color or, or anything out of it. So I'm just gonna get it started, paint it, and then she'll do her part. Well, yeah, that's what we got going for now. All right, let me just mix this um, lime wash up first. It's lime wash, not white wash. So let me just mix it up first and then um, we we'll start painting it, all right? Here's looking, guys. It's not gonna take too long anyway, you know? We just need our hibiscus in something so we come out of that little pot that we bought it in from Home Depot. You know, you can also use hibiscus to make a drink. You know that, guys? Yeah, so. Yeah, and it's very sturdy in um, heat. heat, harsh conditions, so it'll last. And we're going to show you what it's looking like right now. Compared to when we first got it, it wasn't nothing on there there was no button there was no flowers and it's really and we haven't really done much to it it's water, yeah, as you yeah. can see we haven't even transplanted yeah. it but and we got um, like two weeks now or more yeah exactly so i think it's gonna be nice mm -hmm. all right. see i got it already painted <laughs> <laughs> that was quick quick yeah. Yeah, this lime wash thing goes quick. And then you say you're going to distress it now, right? Yeah, I'm going to distress it a little bit just uh, to let it look rustic, show a little of the orange through. I just didn't want it to be completely that color. All right. Yeah. Get to it, baby. Okay. Try to get a little color in around the edge. So I'm using a dry brush and... I'm just doing like strokes if you see yeah so I'm gonna go all the way around wherever the seams are I think that's where I'm gonna put the I think that looks that's looking nice so yeah that looks good it's just given like and then in between these seams just to give it a little streak. Okay guys, that's the end result of the pot. Um, basically I just, after lime washing, I just went around with a soft cloth and the brush strokes and I was able to create these lines and it's however you like it, so. Um, I thought that was nice, you know, it just give it a little distressed look. I just wanted something different. All right. So we're going to show you how everything turns out. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got our raised bed soil that we're going to put in the bottom right here. I'm going to put some in there first and then I'm going to bring the hibiscus over. But this, this potting mix. It's real good. And it's the um, near source uh, raised bed and container mix. It's 100% organic. It's good for herbs, flowers, um, you know, eh, fruits and vegetables, I think. You can use it for also. So it's good for anything that you're gonna put yeah. in your raised bed. Cause we bought some mint. And they were looking shady. All of the mints were looking shady at oh, Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. So we just figured we'd grab the best one. And we put some of this all in there and put it in the pot. Man, you should see it. But we're going to take you over there and show you guys after what we got. But our um, lavender is dying. So we're going to show you what we put on there to see if it's going to come back also. All right. So let me get my um, hibiscus. Really? He keeps coming. Like, he's coming for me. See him? He's coming. Yeah. 
He's behind you. He's behind you. Ah! Oh, you gotta get, you gotta just kill him. Maybe he likes the, um. Is that a bee? No. Well, then like, June bug or something like that. It's gone. Yeah, so this is a hibiscus plant. It's beautiful. So whenever you're planting, um, we put a few, oh, he's back. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. You uh, put a little bit of the soil at the bottom and then you kind of break up the the rodent system. The rodent system. Mm hmm Okay. Well, don't like pull yeah, it apart too much. Yeah, you don't want to disrupt it too much, but just a little bit, just so it can incorporate itself with the um, new soil that's in the bottom. Happy already being <laughs> a bigger pot. Beautiful. So we're going to walk you around to um, our other plants that we have on the patio, on the front patio. Uh, and the B1 that we use. Yeah, good. It's called Super Thrive. Um, it's a vitamin enhanced with kelp and um, it'll help to fertilize, especially when you have like new plants that you're replanting. So we will add a little bit to this hibiscus, even though it's doing pretty good. Um, we just moved it to its new home. So I think we're gonna um, put a little bit in there. This is a gonna be a herb, all herbs in the front. So we started our rosemary. This is the Tuscan blue rosemary. And as you know, rosemary, you know, it's good for chicken, but it also it's also good for other stuff. It's good for pain. It's it has a lot of different benefits and, and i think one day i will too. go through and um you know let you know what each plant is good for that way you know whenever you plant plant with purpose um so this is the mint and we didn't um we didn't add anything to the mint but when we did get it it was not looking like this. The only thing added to it was the soil and it wasn't thriving like this and it smells really good. It's good for tea, <laughs> as you know. Okay guys, so this is our lavender. This is the one we're having the most trouble with. As you can see, um, it's not thriving as well. The color of the leaves are yellow and green and it's not surviving as well as it should so we're adding i've added the uh the super thrive to it so we're going to watch it for a few days and see how it goes we did have another one just like this one and it didn't make it so we're trying to hope for the best for this one and we'll see how it goes okay guys so this is pretty much all you need to make this rice it's butter um some manhattan seasoned rice seasoned yellow rice mix and some mixed vegetables and these are the ones that we use uh i'm not sure whatever you can get in your wherever you live or if you grow your own under your farm yeah so i'm gonna show you how to put it all together i will saute um some onions and peppers first and then I will add the rice in um, bring it to a boil once it's to a boil then I'll add the mixed vegetables and then I'll steam it till it's cooked
All right, guys, I got the grill going. We're gonna put some drumstick on here and get this party started. Not literally, but you know, we're just gonna cook up some nice meal tonight. As you can see, the wife is already, she got the yellow rice going. So I'm gonna put some chicken on the grill. So I'll just let this keep going and then I'll let you guys see when the chicken is on there, okay? All right, guys, so I got half of it already. Sauce with my barbecue sauce right here. And half is dry. Looking all shiny. Yeah. Let me close this grill before it start blazing more. But yeah, it's looking real pretty. All right, guys, so we got everything ready. We got one chicken that's already got barbecue. One is dry. And we got the yellow rice right here with some mixed vegetables. Mmm, looking all delicious right now. We're gonna devour this right now. I'll let you guys know what it's tasting like after. It's looking real good so far. Can't wait to dig in. You can just smell that smokiness from that chicken. Man. Mix it in, baby. Mm. Okay, guys, this is what the food is looking like right now. We just got it plated up. So we're going to go ahead and eat, and we'll let you know how it tastes. I think it's going to taste good. All right, guys, so we're back on the patio. I'm going to try to finish putting the siding on the front and get these board off the patio so I can have more space and um, clear up this patio a little bit more. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys everything that I need to finish up. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be able to finish all of it today, but we're gonna try and see where I get. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, all right, guys. So as you can see, this is the part that I'm trying to get finished all the way. And I already started this side and I need to get this side also completed, but I'm gonna run some um, wire, Romax wire in the top part so i'm gonna have some lights coming across in the ceiling but i'm gonna try to finish this side today and then start the painting process soon and then we're gonna see what we get with this patio okay All right, guys, so I got it all finished all the way from here. And I left this spot empty on purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of board like this and I'm going to bring it all the way down and stain it. All right, so it looked like a whole a entire post. I should have done that in the first place, but you no know, lesson learned. So, you know, you learn as you go. So then I'm go all the way down here. And everything is completed on the bottom. So it's just for me to do the top now. And this is a weird shape, so let me figure some stuff out and do some cutting, and I'll get back to you guys, all right? All right, guys, so I got everything caulked, coming all the way across. As you can see, got this part right here. 
and I also got that part finished, guys. I haven't done that part yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough board left. But um, we'll see how many board I got left. And uh, This part was giving me a little trouble at the end right here, but I got it fixed. So I'm going to just cock, cock this side and see. I got this piece. might just put it on there and see what I got. But I might need another sheet of OSB to get it done. But yeah, guys, this is what it's looking like so far. All right, let me cock this and let me put on this piece first and then I cock both of them. All right. All right, guys, as you can see, it's just this little part left. And I don't think I got enough board because I just measured the piece that I have. It's not going to be enough, but I'm, I'm going to try to cut piece of this one right here and see if I can fit it in there to get it done. Oh yeah, guys, it's looking good so far. It's looking real pretty. Only thing left for me to do is paint. And that's it. <laughs> yep. Got everything finished. Kinda. <laughs> I got a little project to do on this side, so that's why I'm not gonna finish this one yet. So I'm gonna grab another um, OSB for this side. And then I'm gonna run some wires in there but it's looking good so far. I need one more of these board. So I need to write my list down before I go to um, Home Depot. Yeah, it's looking good so far, guys. What you guys think? And this side will be complete and I'm gonna start painting. And that's it for it. Won't be doing much to it anyway. Yeah, I like it. All right, guys, so I told you guys I need to go to um, Home Depot. But what I was realizing yesterday was I had the board that I needed for the columns coming down. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show it to you. I had it all along and didn't even know. <laughs> I was going to go buy more. It's a good thing I looked in the corner and I saw a couple boards and I'm like, does it fit? And I measured it yesterday. I'm like, man. It's just going to waste some money. So let me show you what I'm going to cut off and fit the board in there. And then I'm going to stain those. But I'm going to try to get this um, patio painted. And try to run my wires in here. To at least get something out of the way. You know? So let's get to it, guys. All right? All right. So this is the board that I'm... Part that I told you I needed board for. So I'm going to cut this little part right off here. Coming down. And on this side... But this is the board. All right, I got it all along. I didn't even know. It's the same size. Well, yeah, let me jump on this. And let's get this, get this show going, all right? I got my measurement for the post post over there. I'm gonna mark it up and then cut it. Just like that. Bring it all the way up here. And get my glasses, guys. Safety first. Like a glove, guys. That's how it's going to be sitting. Yep. 
and then I'm going to stain it so it look like it comes all the way down. Alright. Alright guys, so I got my paint. The same color as the siding of the house. I got that ready. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try to paint everything out here. And then I'll jump on putting staining these and getting these in. And that should be, and then I said I got. To, I was gonna do my electrical wires for the top of that side to get some lights in the ceiling also. Because we thought this light was gonna be bright enough, but it is bright, but it's not as bright, you know? So I'm gonna get some light in the ceiling coming across, but I need to drill my holes for my wires and everything first. So let me finish painting these first and then I'll run my wire after, all right? Let's see now. Oh, this is gonna change the entire look of the outside. I'm gonna put my drop cloth here so I don't get paint splashing all over. I'm gonna need probably like two, two layers of paint on there. See, yeah, it's gonna look good. All right, let me let me get this going. All right, guys. guys so i got it painted all the way to here i'm not finished but i'm gonna let you know why i stopped right here but this is it guys it's looking good so far then i'm gonna put the the post that i cut right here and on that side also and i still gonna do that side i need to move all these stuff from here but yeah guys and at the top over there, let me take you over there and show you where I got the thing stained. I got these posts or planks <laughs> that I got stained to put in each sections. Hey guys, look at it. Got the fan going because it's hot out here. Yep, got everything painted all the way across. Yep. I need to get some of um, all of these stuff off the patio. Well, majority of it, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to wait till this dry a little. Then I'm going to nail it in there. And then that'll be it for right now. I don't know if I'm going to do the wires at the top. I might do it another time. Hey, yeah, guys, it's really hot. <laughs> so, I'll let you guys know what happened after, all right? All right, guys, here we go. Like a glove. Yep. Sitting real pretty right there. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Let me show y'all what it's looking like. All right, guys, see? Back here, you can't even tell the difference. <laughs> it's looking real pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna fix this one down here now. But yeah, I like it. What you guys think? You guys like it too? All right. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm in the pump house. I said I wasn't gonna come back in here, but I am, because I got something to show you guys, all right? So, been waiting for this for a long time, and we finally got it. So, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm talking about. You probably already know what I'm talking about. All right, so, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so we got our water softener installed, and our sediment filter on this wall right here, in there. As you can see, I got my little thing to unscrew it, you know, just shut this off when I'm doing it and then cut that one off and then unscrew everything. Take this out, change the filter. Easy money, guys. It comes all the way across. So let me show you. Right now, I got three bags of salt in there. You know, it's not full all the way, but think that's good enough that's half as you can see on the side right here it tells you how much but i didn't know that um it uses that much salt but i was gonna buy more but the plumber said half i should just leave it at half half should be good but yeah guys and that's that and i got my control system over here i touch the screen i got this amount of water to use until it start regenerates you know, but we should have soft water from this point on, a way better system, you know? It's kind of hot outside guys, so yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna run. He said we probably got like 50 gallons still in the um, water heater. So I'm gonna put some stuff in the washing machine and get it running and run all that out and then all the soft water should be coming in the house from this point on all right so let's hope everything goes smooth and we'll start feeling the difference with the water and everything so and um we need to plug um turn the pipe on on our fridge so i'm gonna try to run out all that water first and then i turn that pipe on and we start making ice and we get water to the fridge and everything and i'll you know, try it and see what it's tasting like. But you should see them on a um, muck that came out when this was um, cleaning the salt bed. So yeah, guys. Yeah, so let me get some clothes going in the washer. Yeah, it's looking good so far, guys. I like it. I like it, like it. And I can see all the sediment in the sediment filter right now. I can see all the dirt that's in the bottom of it. So I know it's doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah. All right, guys, let's jump on to see what the rest of the day have for us, all right? All right, guys. So I'll be working on this little thing behind our shower. So it's just gonna be like a towel rack, towel, tall storage area that I'm gonna be putting in. Already got a cabinet in, I just need to secure it to the wall. And then I'm gonna find the studs and I'm gonna screw it all in. And then I'll put the countertop on it. That's right here. You're going to see, I'm going to put some shelf, a couple shelves above it. And then we'll show you what it's looking like after, right? All right, guys. So I got two shelves in here. So we can start storing our towels and everything. So I'll come back tomorrow and start doing some caulking. I might do another shelf going up. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, I kind of made a mistake with this board right here. But... It is what it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, in this corner right here, I'm gonna caulk and caulk on the ear and everything. But it's looking good so far, guys. And this level, where's my level? Right here. Okay. It's level, guys. Now bring it to the second shelf. 
level. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so I got this entire cabinet finished all the way. She said she wanted three shelves, so I gave it to her, guys. Yeah, she's just gonna put some knickknacks up there. And it's all finished, guys. What you think? And I'm still working on the project in the back. So let me go finish that one. But this is complete. All I'm gonna do is just some touch up paint and that's it. And I'm gonna start putting towels and stuff on here. Yes, guys, it's looking real party. All right. All right, guys, so yes, this is where I'm gonna call it for today. I think I'm gonna call it quits, yeah. Because it's it's a long day, so yeah, we got a lot of a lot accomplished, so you know. I got the boards painted, I got the trim in, everything. And I think I like the way it's looking. It's looking real good, guys. So yeah, just let me know what you think. And um yeah, as for here, the next video I'm gonna try to start on this part right here. And I got my cabinet right here. I need to um you can't see it. I need to paint this cabinet. You know? It's a lot, it's a lot for this um patio, so I'm just going to take it slowly and work my way across because there's still a lot of stuff I need to accomplish out here. So but I'm glad I got this part finished. So it's looking <laughs> looking like something because it's been looking beer for a long time, guys. You know, if you're following our channel, you know, we started this patio like a year ago or so. Yeah. And uh, we tried, we, we, we screened it just to get everything on the outside. But then we are like, we'll just work on the inside whenever we can. So yeah, I think this is the time for us to start working back on there so we can enjoy this patio, come out here and sit, eat, you know, enjoy the scenery, get some nice fresh air without bugs attacking us or anything. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna close it out guys. So if you made it thus far in the video, remember to like, share, subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you in the next one.